Installation methods for the StarTech XP STX series explosion proof cable fitting. StarTech XP explosion proof cable fittings are designed for tech cables, corrugated metal clad cables, and ACWU cables. Installing a StarTech XP explosion proof fitting is the same as a combined installation of an EYS with a regular tech fitting, but takes up to three times less space. There are two types of sealing compounds that can be used when installing the StarTech XP. The SC4 liquid kit, suited for the installation of tech cables with multiple conductors, and the SC65 compound, ideal for the installation of tech cable using four conductors or less. First, let's take a close look at the SC4 kit liquid sealing compound recommended for all explosion-proof installations using StarTech XP fittings and mandatory for cables with more than four conductors. To select the proper StarTech XP fitting, you must know the outside diameter of the cable, including its outer jacket. With this information, refer to the instruction sheet supplied with the fitting to help you select the proper StarTech XP fitting. You can also refer to the cable range engraved on the StarTech XP's gland nut to match the correct fitting with the cable. Thomas & Betts also offers a StarTech wraparound ruler, available through your local distributor, to help you select the proper StarTech fitting if you do not know the cable diameter on hand. The first thing to do is to prepare the cable. We begin with determining the strip length of the cable. Then cut the outer jacket in order to expose one inch of the metallic armor, which we then cut using a saw at a 45 degree angle. We can now simultaneously remove the cable's outer jacket and armor. Use either the StarTech XP instruction sheet or the wraparound ruler to determine the final strip length of the outer jacket. If you use the wraparound ruler, press the catch at the extremity of the metallic armor and score the proper length. The cable falls under the 467 fitting range. The correct strip length is the dimension between 462 and 469. You can now cut and strip the jacket from the armor. Always ensure that the cable remains completely clean. The cable is now ready to be installed with the fitting. The red tag on the StarTech XP fitting clearly indicates that the only sealing compounds that can be used are the SC4 kit liquid sealing compound and the SC65 putty sealing compound. The CSA certification and UL listing is null and void if any other sealing compound is used. Firmly push the cable into the fitting and tighten the gland nut. Always verify if the bushing is tightly compressed and it extrudes evenly with the gland and collar ring. The next step is to unscrew the red coupling nut and remove the hub from the body subassembly. Remove the sealing chamber. You now have to remove the inner jacket in order to expose the conductors. However, keep approximately a quarter of an inch, the width of one finger, of the inner jacket from the end of the fitting's hub. Carefully cut and remove the remainder of the inner jacket. Untangle and separate the conductors and remove ripcord and fillers. Firmly secure the fitting in a vertical position in order to properly pour the SC4 kit liquid sealing compound. With ceramic fiber, you will create a stop that will prevent the liquid from running through the fitting and cable. All StarTech XP fittings include a pair of protective gloves, wooden dowel, and an instruction sheet. The SC4 kit will include ceramic fiber as well as a pouch containing the liquid sealing compound. Pack the ceramic fiber into the fitting. If necessary, use the wooden dowel to tightly pack the fiber into the fitting. Next, straighten and secure the conductors to later put back the sealing chamber with ease. Begin by placing the sealing chamber next to the conductors and determine the position of its top opening once it is finally installed. From this point, bend the grounding wire 90 degrees and rotate it a quarter turn on itself in order to untwist or birdcage the strands underneath the fold, keeping the wire twisted on top. This procedure is important to ensure that all the wires and conductors will be completely surrounded by the liquid sealing compound and provide a perfect seal. 
straighten the ground wire vertically and slide the sealing chamber over the conductors and tighten it until it is completely sealed onto the body. Always keep both the interior and exterior of the fitting clean in order to ensure optimal sealing properties. The SC4 kit pouch is divided into three separate compartments. The first two compartments contain a clear and dark liquid compound and the third compartment will receive the final mix once both compounds are blended. Apply pressure to the pouch to break the partition between the first two sealing compartments. Open the pouch partition wide in order to mix both compounds thoroughly. Mix rapidly back and forth using a smooth object such as a screwdriver handle until the color of the compound is completely uniform. Some heat will radiate from the pouch resulting from the exothermic chemical reaction. Once again you apply pressure to the pouch to break the second partition to access the third compartment in order to reach the spout. You are now ready to pour the liquid sealing compound. Pour the liquid sealing compound into the fittings sealing chamber and all around the conductors. Make sure the conductors are separated so the liquid infiltrates into all open spaces between them. You have four to five minutes before the liquid becomes too thick to pour. Thoroughly fill the sealing chamber and make sure that the liquid has not spilled over the exterior of the sealing chamber. If so, immediately wipe it off because once it hardens, it is virtually impossible to remove. Verify that the conductors do not exceed the outside perimeter of the sealing chamber's cylinder and secure them together so the sleeve of the sealing chamber and conductors can easily pass through the fitting's hub once the sealing compound has hardened. Let the compound cure for one hour to properly harden. Do not manipulate the conductors during this time. Screw the StarTech XP fittings hub firmly to the explosion-proof enclosure. Finally, once the compound has hardened, you can complete the installation by passing the conductors through the fittings hub and into the enclosure. The body assembly and sleeve will easily slide into the hub. Tighten the red coupling nut firmly connecting the body to the hub and you have now completed the installation. Installation using the SC65 putty compound. This is a tech cable with three conductors plus a grounding wire. It is suited for an installation with the SC65 compound since the cable has a maximum of four conductors. As always, choose the proper StarTech XP fitting after determining the diameter of the cable. Select the proper fitting by referring to the cable range engraved on the gland nut, or read the table from the instruction sheet, or use the StarTech wraparound ruler. The preparation of the cable is similar to the installation with the SC4 kit liquid sealing compound. Secure the wires together in order to easily pass the cable through the fitting. Firmly push the cable through the fitting and tighten the gland nut. Always verify if the bushing is tightly compressed and it extrudes even with the gland and collar ring. Unscrew the red coupling nut and remove the body from the hub. Unscrew the sealing chamber. You now have to shorten the inner jacket, keeping approximately a quarter of an inch, or roughly the width of one finger, from the end of the fitting's threaded body. Carefully cut and remove the remainder of the inner jacket to expose the conductors. Separate the conductors in order to expose the ground wire. Place the sealing chamber next to the conductors and determine the position of its top opening when it is finally installed. From this point, Bend the grounding wire 90 degrees and rotate it a quarter turn on itself in order to untwist or birdcage the strands underneath the fold while leaving them twisted on top. Straighten the ground wire back in place. Put on the protective gloves to securely manipulate the SC65 compound. Remove the putty from its container. It has two shades of blue and will have to be kneaded into a uniform texture before it is packed into the sealing chamber. The sealing chamber can serve as gauge to determine the amount of the putty required. 
Cut the proper length and store the remainder for future use. Remove the plastic film from the putty and start the kneading process. Hand press the compound until it is fully homogeneous and uniform. Once the paste has the desired texture, separate the conductors and carefully apply the paste between all of them. Straighten the conductors back in place and proceed with the application of the putty, ensuring that the fitting is kept clean of the compound. Continue to add and mold the putty until it is a similar shape of the inner cavity of the sealing chamber. Place the sealing chamber on top of the putty and screw it tightly to the body of the fitting. Apply more putty to fill the sealing chamber to its rim and carefully wipe off any excess putty from the fitting once you're finished. Verify that the conductors do not exceed the outside perimeter of the sealing chamber's cylinder, so the sleeve of the sealing chamber and conductors can easily pass through the fitting's hub once the sealing compound has hardened. Let the compound cure for one hour to properly harden. Do not manipulate the conductors during this time. Screw the StarTech XP fittings hub firmly to the explosion-proof enclosure. Finally, once the compound has hardened, you can complete the installation by first passing the conductors through the fittings hub and into the enclosure. The body assembly and sleeve should then easily slide into the hub. Tighten the red coupling nut firmly securing the body to the hub. There you have it, a perfect installation. Let's review the installation procedure. You must first prepare the cable. Install the StarTech XP fitting on the cable. Tighten the gland nut. Disassemble the body and fill the sealing chamber with the liquid or putty compound. Allow the compound to cure and properly harden. Install the fittings hub to the explosion-proof enclosure. Pass the conductors, assemble the fittings body and sleeve to the hub, and tighten together with the red coupling nut. Presenting the StarTech Extreme XP STX Series Fitting the StarTech Extreme XP Explosion Proof Fitting features a removable armor stop which allows the fitting to accommodate a broad range of cable sizes and can replace up to three conventional tech fittings. For smaller cables you keep the armor stop and for larger cables you remove the armor stop. Once the cable is properly seated into the StarTech Extreme Fitting, tighten the gland nut to secure the fitting on the cable. If the armor stop is still in place because a smaller cable is being installed, you will need to remove it before applying the SC4 kit liquid sealing compound or the SC65 putty compound.